So with the introduction of the PSO2 Kami voice tickets, a lot of people have been messing around with these voices and let's just say that the English voices are a lot more spammy than the Japanese voices. Take a quick look at what I mean. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to switch the English voices to Japanese voices while keeping the UI and everything else still in English. But first of all, if you're new to the channel, I upload PSO2 content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. All right, the very first step you need to do is log all the way out. So back to your main menu screen, you haven't selected your ship, haven't selected no nothing. And this menu will greet you over here. And you want to go to language settings. And right here in voices, you want to change it from English to Japanese. Once that's done, you can leave everything else in English. And this will only change the voice lines to Japanese. Then you click confirm and it's just going to play the opening sequence again. It's going to go Sega and then all that jazz. And so you can just skip all the cutscenes, so forth and so on until you're back to this menu. Then you're simply just going to launch the game normally with start game. Pick whatever ship you play on and then just load up whatever character you want to load up and once you've loaded in you'll notice that all the voices are now in japanese here take a look at this So you may have noticed that my character says a specific line very often where she's going NANDESKA and that's because I manually added that voice line into my actions. So how do you do that? Alright so the first step is understanding what voice line you want to add. So you can type slash VO1 all the way to 12 and they will play different sounds. So this is slash VO1, VO2 all the way up to VO12. And those are the default lines. So if you're not using a unique voice ticket like the PSO2 Kami tickets, then you'll only be able to do slash VO 1 to 12. However, if you are using the PSO2 Kami tickets, then you're able to go above 12. So for example, 13, 14, so forth and so on. And the one that I spam the most is slash VO 17 and it's this voice line. And since I really like that voice line because it just sounds so troll, you can add that specific voice line into different actions. So in order to do that, you're going to have to press escape, go to the little cog wheels, and then go to chat settings. And once you're here, you're going to click on auto chat. Once I'm in the auto chat, there's the events tab, the members tab, and the actions tab. So in the events tab, it's whenever I complete a quest, whenever there's an emergency trial, whenever there's a quest start, so forth and so on. There's many different options over here, and you can see that I literally type slash VO17 to all of them. So when I join a party, I go NANDESKA! When I join a party that's in progress, I also go NANDESKA! When there's a quest that's accepted, I go NANDESKA! When we get a PSE burst, I go NANDESKA! And so you can just add in whatever you want. But obviously, I added all of those just for example purposes. Please don't actually do it. You're gonna get sick of the voice line really Really, really quickly. However, if you're using the PSO2 Call Me Voice Ticket, you'll notice that when you auto attack, when you cast PA, so forth and so on, your character says specific lines. And if you want to add in your own line into that pool of lines, you can do what I did right here. Whenever photon arts are activated, I have slash VO14 as well as VO17. So whenever I do cast a PA, there's three default lines that my character will always say and it cycles through them. However, on top of that, it basically adds these two voice lines into the pool. 
So instead of just spamming the same three lines, now she has five lines to spam. So it spices things up a little bit so you're not hearing the same three lines over and over and over and drives you insane. Unfortunately, there's no way to change the three default lines or replace them or make them say something different. Those three default lines are set in stone and they're always going to be saying those three default lines. So let's just head into a random expedition and I'll show you what I mean. So we can see over here, I'm just going to spam a couple PAs and you're just going to listen to her voice lines. That's the first one. That's the second one. And that's the third one. So in the Japanese voices, it's not that bad because they're really short. They're like 0.5 seconds long per voice line. So it doesn't get super obnoxious. Unlike the English ones where they actually read like a full out sentence. And that's why I feel like the English lines are a little bit spammy because by the time you finish the first sentence, she's already saying the second sentence because you're spamming PAs. And so for example, when I'm fighting a boss, I'd play like this. So, <laughs> so you heard there at the very end where my character did slash VO14, which is this line right here. And this is a line that I manually added in. But you can hear already even on the Japanese voices when I'm just spamming a PA that they go on hyperdrive. They just keep talking and talking and talking and talking. And it might drive some people insane. That's one of the reasons why I had to switch to the Japanese voices. I love the English voices to bits, but it just sounds really, really annoying when your character is not able to even finish her English sentence and then the next English line comes in and then it just sounds like a huge mess and it kind of drives me nuts. And that's why I switched to the Japanese voices. So if you don't like the sound of your voice and you want to change the pitch, you can always do so by coming to the salon, going to select voice, and right here at the change pitch, you can change it a little bit higher or a little bit lower to uh, match whatever you're looking for. Yes. So you can just slide it, yes. and then you'll yes. see... And you can make yourself sound like a chipmunk, or... Sorry! 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 Yosh! <laughs> make yourself sound like a man, I guess. But you can really mess around with the pitch and see what works best for you. Kita. And last but not least, if you want a certain character's voice for all of your characters, you will need to use two of the same voice tickets. It's going to be the same as cosmetic. You need two copies in order to unlock it across the account. So when we do get our next PSO2 Kami memory, I'm probably going to get the Tetra voice again, just so that all of my characters can have Tetra's voice. Now for those who don't care about anything in the PSO2 Kami store, what you can always do is buy certain items that are tradable and sell them on the market. Like a lot of people have been selling the PSO2 Communication Music CD because it's a banger, I really like the song. You've got the PSO2 Visual Mat which is also tradable. So the main thing that you're going to be looking at is this symbol right here. If it's got a little X symbol over here then it is not tradable, however if it does not then it means that it is tradable. Okay. There are quite a few that are tradable such as the PSO2 Kami Character Pose emote as well as the Signboard emote. Unfortunately the Super Saiyan emote is not tradable. The Super Saiyan emote is the Ichika and Tetra pose, so it's Ichika's pose, so the male variant will do the Super Saiyan one. Anyway, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!